Die definiert und hat global zum Kultur. Well, here with me in the studio is Jerry Velasquez from the United Nations Office for Disaster Risk Reduction in Sudan. also from the Philippines. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. So just first of all, let's look at the uh, potential death toll on this. The official figure is about 2,200 or so, but do you reckon it's going to be many, many more? Um, the local officials have said that it's around 10,000. Uh, the president has said that it's 2,000 to 2,500. I think that we will have to wait uh, for the official figures. Because we've not managed to get to the outlying areas, have we? We don't really? know yet, so we will have to wait um, for the final figures. And uh, of course, um, it, you know, I, it's, it's a terrible tragedy to have happened, but you are an official at the United Nations dealing with this kind of thing. So uh, how does this disaster rank in your view in terms of the kind of severity that you've seen in your unit? Uh, for the Philippines, this is probably the strongest uh, typhoon that has struck the country. Um, there has been a Category 5 typhoon mm -hmm. that has struck uh, in 2006, I think. But, but it, compared to other sort of disasters, we all think of the 2004 tsunami, for instance, where does this rank? Um, Devastation-wide, I think we could rank it uh, similarly. Um, but of course, the number of deaths would be very different. And what do you think needs to be done now? Because the Philippine government has said it's very overwhelmed. It's focusing on getting help to those people who are starving, in need of water, medical supplies, that kind of thing. Should that be the focus? Or do you also have to think of the medium term reconstruction building as well? Uh, definitely in these kind of uh, disasters, relief, saving lives is a priority. That has to happen. But at the same time, because we're already thinking of not just the temporary housing, but also the medium term needs, I think it is already necessary to think and prepare for the, uh, the longer, the medium term needs, including uh, recovery and reconstruction. So you mean even the temporary shelters, which are going to be provided for people, that's got to be planned straight away now. And your unit, the Disaster Risk Reduction Unit at the United Nations, a relatively new one which was set up after the tsunami, I mean, is there a framework that you can kind of say there is a universal, one-size-fits-all approach to dealing with this kind of disaster? After the uh, 2004 tsunami, the Hyogo framework of action was adopted by 196 countries. Now that framework sets a, a set of priorities that all countries agreed to do. That framework is coming to an end in 2015. We think, like the 2004 tsunami, this typhoon is going to change the way that uh, we look at this uh, global framework. And is it just, uh, as often the case, the most vulnerable communities that suffer the most in this kind of situation? Yes, of course. Um, what we know is that poverty, uh, the poorest, uh, and the vulnerability to disasters feed into each other. Uh, most of the people that have been affected are the poorest. Uh, and also those that suffered uh, are, uh, are the ones simply because uh, they, uh, their houses are made of flimsy material, wood. Uh, because of their uh, poverty, so uh, there is directly uh, a link between the two. All right, Jerry Velasquez from the United Nations Office for Disaster Reduction, thank you very much Lee, for giving us your perspective on the typhoon that's hit the Philippines. Now Rob Ford is Toronto's mayor in Canada.